Hi everyone, it's Danny from Orchid Nature. So here we have another natural treatment we can use with our orchids, or at least this is what people are saying on the internet. And I'm willing to try it, and this is the cinnamon treatment. Now, as we all know, cinnamon is used in the cases where we have crown rots, or rots in general. Apparently, cinnamon is a good antifungal and antibacterial um, product we can use, even the one we can find in stores, the powder version, and uh, it dries very, very well. Now, I intend to use the oil version, but I will first talk about how to use the powder version because it might be easily available for you guys. Okay, so there are a few recipes with cinnamon powder on the internet, so I'll just tell you about them. Okay, so the first recipe is cinnamon powder and water. What you should do is pour two tablespoons, not teaspoons, two tablespoons of powder into hot boiling water. Let it sit for a few days, then try to remove the cinnamon powder from your mixture by using a coffee filter, and then it's good to go for spraying your orchids. This is usually used as a fungicide and bactericide, but also it is said that it has some pest repelling properties, especially with ants. And I know a few of you guys have had problems with ants in the past, so maybe this could help you. Another solvent you can use for your powder cinnamon is also alcohol. Now, it is best to use isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. It has proven to be safer than other types of alcohol. Unfortunately, I don't have that. But if you have rubbing alcohol, do a mixture of two tablespoons of cinnamon powder, mix them with 500 liters of alcohol, you don't need to boil anything, just let it sit overnight and the next day try to remove the powder with a coffee filter and the mixture you have you can use on your orchids. Again, this is used as a fungicide but also because of the alcohol it can be used as a pesticide as well. Now with my orchids, I will not use the alcohol, although I said I would, but I feel they're kind of damaged and they have all sorts of spots on the leaves, so I'm afraid that my alcohol will actually damage them even more. What I will use actually is water and cinnamon oil. Now the ratio for mixing water and cinnamon oil for orchids is 1% cinnamon oil and 99% water. Now, I will do this using a formula with 500 liters of milliliters, sorry, of water. So to 500 milliliters of water, I will need 5 milliliters of cinnamon oil. I will try to scale it down just a bit and use half of the amount, so 250 milliliters, which will be mixed with 2.5 milliliters of cinnamon oil. To help me with this process, I managed to find a syringe that is graded as you can see and I can easily measure 2.5 milliliters of cinnamon oil. I will mix it with water. I'm not sure if I have to use a detergent. I'm not sure how soluble this is. Ooh, and it's a bit leaky as you can see. So I'll mix it with water, put it in a sprayer and I will spray my orchids. But we'll see if I have to mix it with anything else. Okay, so here we have 2.5 milliliters of cinnamon oil that I'm gonna try to mix with water. Let's see if it mixes. I have to tell you, compared to the neem oil, this stuff smells good actually. It's slightly overpowering, but it's okay. And I believe I will not actually need... No, I don't think I will actually need any detergent. It seems like it's mixing much, much better than neem oil. So I will just dump this into my sprayer bottle and start misting the orchids that I want to test this on and I'll show you in a second. Now these are the orchids that might benefit from my cinnamon oil solution. As you can see, I do have quite a bad case of fungal or bacterial infection here. Now these little dots could have been provoked by either um, the honeydew substance this dendrobium produces or by the little bites of the spider mite. Either way, I do have a bad infestation here. I also have a few more orchids with a bad infestation, as you can see here. And uh, yeah, these are the orchids that will uh, get sprayed with the cinnamon oil. I will not spray everything, I just want to test it out. So I do want to remind you, I am doing these tests to see if they actually work or if they will hurt my orchids. So if you see that I do this now, don't go ahead and spray your orchids. Wait for me to see what happens. Um, I will try with these videos, if you, if you watch them um, like six months from now on, I will try to add in the description a follow-up.
follow-up, if I have a follow-up. So you have a sort, sort of like um, series. So yeah, check the description. You have everything, all the ingredients and the measurements in the description as well. And also follow-ups to see how the orchids did or if I managed to kill them with all these um, natural things. So alrighty, what I will do now is actually spray the leaves. Uh, I might not be as thorough as with the neem oil, but I will try to spray as much of the orchid as I can, keep them in the shade, not direct sun, because it's an oil and it might create a sort of um, a bad effect with the sun. It, it might actually burn the leaves. Um, so I will keep them in the shade, keep them rather cool, and if by nighttime I see any droplets that did not dry off, I'll take them with a paper napkin. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Spray everybody with what I just did, and I will keep you up to date with their evolution. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna stay up to date, see what happens. If you have questions or suggestions, leave me a comment. And uh, yeah, visit orchidnature.com for our community and our forums and discussions. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining. Bye.